Hi, this is Don, and I want to show you a way to use StatCrunch to do a problem that can be fairly time consuming if you do it manually using the charts and manual calculations. This is a problem in which we're given information about a brand of an automobile tire that has a mean lifespan of 39,000 miles a standard deviation of 2050 and we're told that we should assume the lifespans of the tires have a bell-shaped distribution. Well that last means of course that we can assume this is a normal distribution and because we're giving information about the brand this is really information about the population. The population mean of 39,000 miles and the population standard deviation of 2050. So let's use StatCrunch to do this. And it's a little bit tricky because it's not straightforward, but we go into StatCrunch, StatCrunch and we click on Stat, Calculators, Normal. And we bring up this dialog box. And you can see that the default for a normal distribution problem is that we have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. And then we can put in either the probability that we're looking for and get the x value, or we can put in the x value, the z value, I'm sorry, and get the probability, in this case, to the left of that value of x or z. But, in this case, we're trying to find the Z values, and we're given Xs. We're given a value of 33,000 miles, 37,000 miles, and 32,000 miles, and we've got to find the Z score. Well, here's a way that we can back into this. We're given that the mean is 39,000 miles, standard deviation 2050, and I'm going to put in here our first X value of 33,000. Now I'm going to click on Compute. And you can see that we were given a probability of 0 0.0017. And you can just barely see it there. There's a little red mark. And that's the area to the left of that value of 33,000. But we want a Z-score. Well, the way we're, we're going to do this, first of all, Take your cursor and highlight that probability. And then click on, hold down the control key and click on C. And we've copied that value to the clipboard. So let's convert this back into the normal curve with a mean of zero, standard deviation of one. And this time we're gonna put back in that probability. So we click in that box and control V and now we've got the probability in there and we're looking for the z-score which gives us an area of 0 0.017 to the left so I've got less than or equal I click on compute and you can see a z-score of minus 2.92683 rounding that off of minus 2.93 and I'll pull this down there and yes that's the value for the first z-score so you just replicate that with each of the three, remembering that we have to put in the population me first, population standard deviation, put in the x value, get the probability, copy that probability of the clipboard back into the normal curve, normal distribution of zero mean and standard deviation of one. Okay, that's the first part, and you would do the 37 and 32,000 miles the same way. So let's go down to the other part of this question, and it says in part B, we're given the lifespans of three randomly selected tires, 36,950, 41,050, and 39,000 miles. Now it says use the empirical rule to get these lifespans, which you can do. But you can also use this normal probability 
uh, calculator to come up with those percentiles. And in, to do this, I'm going to go back and put in our population mean of 39,000, our population standard deviation of 2050, and I'm going to put in the x value, 36,950, and I'm going to click on compute, and you can see that now we've got a value of 0 0.1586 or 0 0.016. So that's the 16th percentile. We've got 16% of the data to the left of that value of 36,950. And that matches what they have here. I'll just go ahead and put in the 41050. Click Compute. And we've got 84% is to the left of that value. So you can see that you can use this these calculators in StatCrunch a little bit creatively, but it makes very quick work of problems like these. Hope it helps.